So you treat people that have bite problems that are causing a lot of problems like uh, a migraine headaches or sore jaw. Uh, I mean, what are yes. the symptoms? Well, they're, they're, a, they're seemingly unrelated. I, I mean, I, someone's sitting in my chair and just by their posture and by the way they hold their jaw, I might ask them, okay, do you have neck and shoulder problems? And they'll look at me kind of funny, like, how did you know that? And uh, honestly, it's, 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 it's very, very obvious. And then I can follow it up with, uh, the different symptoms they're having related to TMD, such as uh, sore muscles, um, blurry vision, clicking in the jaw, clenching and grinding. I mean, it's really not hard to pick out once you know what to look for. People go to their dentist and they've been told that they have, that they grind their teeth because they have wear and they think, well, it's not bothering me, it's not a problem. Well, I can tell you it's a problem, it's a huge problem. Down the road, you could lose your teeth. You know, you could be in line for some very expensive dental treatment if it's not addressed. So you're grinding because why? Because your teeth don't come together properly? You could be grinding because your teeth don't come together properly. You could be grinding because the muscles are unhappy when, you're, when your teeth are together and, and we, that's called neuromuscular dentistry and we address it from a physiologic standpoint. In other words, what, you know, okay, how, how do we make those muscles, those muscles happy. Um, but I, I can tell you if this is not addressed early on, and by the way, it affects women more than men, 79% more women. If it's not addressed early on, then you are in for some problems later on the road. Now tell me this, because migraine headaches can be connected to this TMJ problem. Is that right? Yep. And shoulder pain. Absolutely. Well, this, was, this was your, like, your yeah. topic at, yeah. I guess, Las Vegas Institute. You taught Correct. dentists how to fix this. Yeah, correct. Now, the, where, is there a short answer of, of, of well, what the connection is? Yeah, I don't okay. Get let it. me How put it. How does your migraine have anything to do with your teeth? Okay, let me put it this way: do you, there are twelve cranial nerves. It gets slightly technical here for a minute, but All bear right. with me. There are twelve cranial nerves. The one nerve, the fifth cranial nerve, that innervates. All these muscles and your bite and and um, all the function associated with this is the fifth cranial nerve. That fifth cranial nerve is responsible for 90% of the input into your brain. 90% okay. of all the input in your brain. So if something is out of whack here, it just plays havoc with your whole body. So when you fix the bite, you have people that their migraine headaches when go you away? Re, absolutely, when you rebalance everything that's going on with this apparatus, a lot of times we see the migraine headaches go away. We see neck and shoulder pain go away. We see muscle soreness. We see the grinding going away because when you're grinding, it's because your body's not happy with the with the the position of your jaw. If your teeth are in the way, it's kind of kind of so you don't get them grind the during way. the day. You grind when you're asleep. Yeah, most so of the time asleep, you grind during your sleep. You have no control. Okay. So people will tell me sometimes, you know, I sleep with my mouth open. Oh, well, you do sometimes, but not in REM sleep. You don't, so they think they can stop their grinding. You, you, you really can't. It's a, it's a, uh, a non-voluntary response. So, but it can be fixed. It can, but it can be fixed. And you're one of the guys. To do it. And I'm one of the you're guys. You're the best guy in San Diego to do. I'm the best guy. That's me. <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean, you taught dentists from all over the world how to take care of this. You know, it's amazing. We see in in the cases at LVI where we have treated this, patients would come back, and the testimonials that they give of how much better they felt, because here's the thing about uh, TMD, uh, TMD symptoms, is they don't just what overnight. What does TMD stand for, by the way? Uh, TMD stands for temporomandibular dysfunction, and the layperson usually calls it TMJ. And that's the joint that's right That's the here, joint, though. temporomandibular joint. But okay. you know, we use, it, we use that term also in, in, in dentistry, because everyone knows what it, what it means. But the thing about those symptoms, they don't happen overnight. So also, if we, t if we eliminate them in one afternoon, they're amazed that, wow, I never knew how bad I, I felt. Why didn't I do this years ago?